Just as Ruth Bader Ginsburg making history one last time, the first woman and the first Jewish person to lie in state at the U.S. Capitol. It is with profound sorrow and deep sympathy to the Ginsburg family that I have the high honor to welcome Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg to lie in state in the capital of the United States. She does so on a catafalque built in 1865 for the casket of Abraham Lincoln, a simple base of rough pine boards nailed together and covered with black cloth. Ginsburg, the eighth Supreme Court justice to grace its surface. As a lawyer, she won equality for women and men, not in one swift victory, but brick by brick, case by case, through meticulous, careful lawyering. She changed the course of American law. CNN reports that in the weeks before her death, Ruth Bader Ginsburg was still conferring on cases, penning notes to friends, and continuing to schedule social events, including a wedding she was to officiate the day she died. Among those paying their respects today, former Vice President Joe and Dr. Jill Biden, and his running mate, Senator Kamala Harris. The event held in the National Statuary Hall on the side of Congress that the Democrats control. Republican leaders of the House and Senate were invited, but declined to attend. Well into her 80s, Justice Ginsburg credited fitness for keeping her healthy and sharp. Her personal trainer, Bryant Johnson, dropping to the Capitol Rotunda floor to crank out three push-ups in respect. Ready, step. Ready, step. She was our prophet, our North Star, our strength for so very long. Now she must be permitted to rest after toiling so hard for every single one of us. Well, Ginsburg will be laid to rest next week at Arlington National Cemetery alongside her husband, Marty, an Army veteran who died of cancer in 2010.